It's a very toy review with very toys for you. This is that's very toys for you. Ta-da! We have a theme song for this. Welcome. We have decided since we have a hundred followers and we were able to change our URL that we are going to do a quick video on a review. It's on Luna's favorite, the snuggle beater. So I thought what might be fun is actually going over some of the reviews on Amazon and then I can give you guys our opinion and what we have noticed with our Ferris and how they like it. Cause so the Snuggle Gator is on Amazon. It is actually a Marshall's Pet Product Hide and Sleep Alligator Ferret Hideaway. So we call it Snuggle Gator because it sounds really cute. And Luna in her Snuggle Gator sounds adorable. So we're going to scroll to the bottom here and we're just going to go over some of the top rated reviews. So we have the first review is one star. This review kind of upsets me. Um... My ferrets were able to climb in the liner of this product while I was at work and suffocated. They both died. I had to cut it open at the nose to get them out. And then they have a picture of their ferrets, which are past, which gets the point across. Um, but that's, that's really, really sad. Second review, one star as well. Do not buy this item. I bought this for my four-month-old ferret. I keep it in the cage on the second level. After only five days of having it, I walked in the room to do a routine check on my pets. I found him stuck in the liner inside the alligator and dangling from the entrance of the bottom level. He could not get out. I had to cut a hole in the neck of the alligator to set him free. When I got him out, he was panting and extremely hot to the touch. He was disoriented, and if I had waited a minute longer to check on him, I believe he would have suffocated and died. Luckily, it was my day off. Do not buy this item. The next one is also one star. Worst toy. Woke up in the middle of the night to my rats crying and squeaking loudly. They got stuck. I can't imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there to save them. Don't waste your money. The fourth one is one star. You're seeing a trend here, right? I'm, that's why I'm going over this now. So anybody who sees videos with Luna in the Snuggle Gator, I want you to realize what's behind that Snuggle Gator. Under that smiling alligator teeth. It's not... Mm. Okay. One star review. Especially dangerous for ferrets that are chewers. My ferrets had a great time with this, but found it to be dangerous after only a few days. One of my ferrets chewed on the liner and became trapped in between the liner and the outer shell. Great idea, but poor quality. The liner should be better secured so the ferrets cannot pull it inside out. Most importantly, it is made of terrible fabric that is too thin. Plus, according to the tag, it cannot even be put in the wash. Only wiped off? It would probably dissolve in the wash. I usually love the Marshall Ferret products, but the quality seems to have changed for the worse. And I'm really disappointed. It was Tara. She wanted to come in. She felt left out. So far, we have four one-star reviews. So you're getting a really good idea. The next one is four stars. My ferrets love their alligator. When it's time for a nap, you can always find one of my ferrets in their alligator. I have two petite female ferrets, and only reason I couldn't give this alligator five stars is because they both can't fit in it simultaneously. Not without someone's lower half sticking out. They're bonded sister pair and always sleep curled up together until Mr. Alligator came along. <sighs> now they will wrestle over who gets the alligator, and the loser is banished to one of their hammocks. I have a two-story ferret cage with two hammocks, a tent, and a hanging tube hammock all on the top portion, with the floors covered in blankets. This alligator made a nice addition to their top floor. The bottom level only has the litter, food, and a water dish. They usually sleep in their hammocks, but once they discovered how cuddly and warm the alligator's belly is, they can't stay away. If you have a single ferret, or two who don't mind sharing, then this alligator will be a nice addition to your cage. As for the quality, many of the reviews say it was cheap, but I totally disagree. That was itchy. 
The texture is really neat and scaly on the outside. And the inside reminds me of flannel pajamas. It's very warm. The alligator comes in a small plastic bag with snap fasteners, the way sheet sets come. And I think initially the ferrets enjoyed the packaging more than the actual alligator. They love crinkly. But once they explored the alligator, they fell in love. Due to the packaging, it does survive a little squished. And contrary to the tag, you can machine wash it and it only improves the fluffiness of him. Overall, good purchase. I only wish it was a tad bit bigger so Roxy and Velma could enjoy it together. Okay. We originally have had this twice, currently, and we had it back in 2017. Now, the first time we got the Snuggle Gator, we had it in the cage with Iris and Luna, and they would sleep in it. It was super cute, but we'd start finding weird little pieces, and we didn't know it was from the Snuggle Gator at first. I couldn't figure out what it was. You just find things in their cage, and you're like, how? Um, and then I came home from work one day, and my husband had the Alex the alligator was out and I said what happened he goes Iris was stuck in it and he had ripped it and he goes she was panicking as she was in there and I was like oh okay we threw it out immediately now with Luna having her adrenal disease and having a lot of problems with walking she likes to snuggle in things especially since she's had that hair loss problem um, and we have like a crinkle sack and she tries to find stuff to be comfy in um, and I remember she liked the snuggle gator so we got the snuggle gator again and the main thing was so she could come out of the cage, walk around, and then go take a nap somewhere instead of walking all the way to the bedroom, which she would do and go underneath the bed in some of the blankets. We have a zebra blanket down there that she loves. Um, so we got this so she could snuggle. No one's going to bother her. Sometimes when Luna's cuddling there after Micah gives her medicine, he has put the whole thing back in the cage. The other day, he had told me that um, Iris had gotten in there in the lining. This is what happened the first time. She got in the lining and she started spazzing. Like he just saw like the alligator moving and it was, she was panicking and he, he stays at home and he works on his computer from home. Uh, he does freelance. So he's home thankfully like all the time. And I haven't really seen where this is that she's getting stuck. So this is the first time I'm looking at it. So we're gonna, we're gonna pull this out for a minute. I found it. I found it. Okay, so right there. This little hole, apparently Iris dug through. It's right on a seam. And as you can see, the little stuffing's coming out from one of the legs. She must have scratched. She likes to scratch on fabric. So she scratched that little hole and then squeezed her little body in there and then was stuck in the freaking lining, which is horrible, dangerous, especially since she had panic. So we've taken that out. And we only use it under supervision now, and realistically, we only have it on the floor, so when Luna comes out, she goes into it. It's by Micah. He is the keeper of the snuggle gator. He makes sure that no one else goes near it. We don't really give anyone else to. No one else is really interested when they're running around. The last thing they care about is the snuggle gator, because they can sleep under a bookshelf, under the bed, in the closet, in my underwear drawer. There's so many places that they don't care about the snuggle gator. So long story short, if you got this, supervision. I feel like that's most toys that I've gotten them or beds or whatever. Supervision, especially with seven of them. They all have different quirks and different things they like to do. Nobody had a problem with this except Iris. Iris had a problem as a baby. Iris has a problem as an adult. Apparently she goes in there. She digs. I don't know if she's trying to get comfortable or what. She digs, makes a hole, goes in. It's not Narnia. And then she gets upset because she's not in Narnia. Salas and I hope that the Snuggle Gator review was helpful and that if you see it or you're considering getting it, you now can make an informed decision and make sure you keep an eye on them if you do. Thanks so much. 